What's up YouTube, I'm Mike, and today I'm back with my third video of the day. Um, I haven't shot a Trend Sanity video in a very long time. Uh, Trend Sanity was meant to be a series of videos where I would talk about current events going on in our world, and while there have been plenty of topics that I could have discussed, this one, I think you will agree, warrants its 15 minutes of fame. Uh, I, I don't know how I've titled this video, so you may or may already know what I'm talking about. But what the hell is going on in India? Uh, I recently saw a video somewhere that was being passed around on one of the social media platforms of a guy who was basically trying to uh, grape a tailpipe. Uh, in the middle of the day, in broad daylight, this Indian guy is down on his knees trying to get busy with a car tailpipe. I would like to think that there's plenty of strange walking the streets in India that we do not have to, as men, stoop, literally, to these levels, but apparently not. This article is even worse. Today, I'm going to be reading to, to you from Hindi... How, how do you say this? Hindustan Times. <laughs> it's like right out the gate. Hindustan Times. It, it, this has got to be a banger, right? The title of the article is Indian Man Puts Two Foot Live Eel Up His Anus. Horrifying video of its removal. I'm going to link this in the description because clearly I'm not putting on this on my channel. I'll never get away with it. Uh, but the article, so there is a video of the removal. The, the article reads that, a, that an Indian man in Vietnam almost lost his life after he put a live eel up his anus. Uh, according to the Vietnam News, the eel that he shoved up his anus tried to escape, basically. The eel, he put the eel in his anus, it tried to escape, and it chewed through his intestines and had to be removed from his <laughs> from his abdomen. Now I know that there's there's been a lot of stories on Reddit and various other places about what guys get up to on Trendblown. I don't know if the Indian pharma trend has made its way into the streets of India. Actually, this is an Indian guy in Vietnam. So I, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but if you if you click on the picture, you will le or the the link you will at least see an image of this eel being pulled from his abdomen. Um, it says on July 27th, a 31 year old Indian man uh, went to the hospital at Viet Duke, I guess that's how you say it, in Hanoi, complaining that he had severe abdominal pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you did, buddy. Um, they found out that later, in, earlier in the day, he had put a, he had slipped a two-foot-long live eel up his anus. The patient was immediately examined. They gave him CT scans, X-rays, several imaging tests that showed the eel's skeleton inside his abdominal cavity. So please understand what we're talking about here. We're talking about the abdominal cavity not his intestines. So this guy put a live animal into his rectum that chewed its way through his intestine or through his colon and slipped out into his abdominal cavity. So clearly he's going to have leakage of whatever was in his colon or intestine also into the abdominal cavity. The fact that this guy lived is, is, is un unbelievable to me. Uh, it's certainly, you know, wouldn't have been any great loss had he not made it. Uh, the Viet Duke Hospital promptly assembled a, assembled a team of endoscopy experts and anesthesiologists to remove the eel from the patient's anus. Now here's where it gets even better if you can imagine. If you could imagine that it gets better than the guy put a two foot long eel up his anus, the doctor team original, initially tried to go in through the anus to get to the abdominal cavity to get the eel back out the way from whence it came. When they went into his anus to try to get the eel out, they couldn't get to it because after he put the eel in there, he also shoved a lemon in behind it. So they get into this man's colon and his entire colon is being blocked by a lemon. 
So, no, it is a lemon though. The other article is wrong. Oh. Yeah. One of the articles said it was a lime. So I don't, I've read a couple articles. One says lime, one, some citrus fruit was shoved into his rectum after he put the eel in, which is probably what caused the eel to panic and chew its way through his intestinal wall. <laughs> Dude, I have been on trend blasts with Proviron and have been so worked up that I could barely function at work. Like I couldn't, I, I have been so worked up on gear and talking to my wife on the phone, like on the road, that I was so worked up that I had to literally sit in the car and try to do something to get, you know, the soldier to stand at ease because I couldn't even go into the building, you know, and, and be decent, okay? I understand completely what it is to be, to have your libido cranked through the roof to the maximum where even three times a day is not enough to satisfy you. How you get to a place in life where you are cramming eels and citrus fruits into your rectum, I just, this is a whole new level of need that I cannot even begin to fathom. This is trend sanity at its, at its best or worst, depending on how you look at it. So the doctors go in, they find the, the, uh, they find the, the lemon, and um, this blocking their way. So the expert team therefore opted an emergency surgery. They had to open his abdomen. They found the, 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 the live eel uh, approximately 65 centimeters long and 10 centimeters in circumference. So somebody in the metric system, part of the world, do some math for me in the comments. I guess it's two feet long, 10 centimeters, I have no idea. Was that five inches around? I don't know. Um, the eel had bitten through the patient's rectum and colon to escape into the abdominal cavity, said Lee Not Who, Vice Director of the Department of Colorectal and Perennial Surgery. <laughs> so they actually have a video of this. I have not looked at the video. I don't really need to see it. Uh, doctors managed to remove both the eel and the lemon. He was examined to ensure there were no other foreign objects in his body and then stitched up. The doctor goes on to say, and I quote, Eels can survive in anaerobic conditions for a long time and have the ability to bite through the gastrointestinal tract. Therefore, people should never insert live animals through the anus to seek intense sensations due to the unforeseeable consequences. <laughs> uh, come on, guys. We have to be living in the matrix, right? We've got one Indian guy pumping a tailpipe on one day. This guy's putting eels and citrus fruits in his rectum. Like, what did, like, what, I, <laughs> what was, how good can you get off? Am I missing the fucking boat here? Like, these people are clearly in pursuit of an O that I cannot even fathom. Uh, I, I don't, obviously, I don't know what that side of the world is like. I have never partaken. That is an exit only for me. So maybe my entire life I've been missing out on some amazing um, uh, like prostate-induced O's. I, I will never know. I will, I will certainly go to my grave never knowing what I've missed out on. I do not care. Um, it, it, what makes it even worse, if it could get worse, is that this is actually not the first time that this has occurred. An eel was removed from a person's body in via, uh, uh, excuse me, in, in March. Uh, doctors removed an eel from a 43-year-old man's abdomen, uh, which they believe he slipped up his anus. I believe that was also in Vietnam. So what the hell is going on in Vietnam? Wouldn't it be crazy to find out that the real reason that we actually went to war in Vietnam had nothing to do with communism and everything to do with the fact that our government found out they were abusing eels? <laughs> Two people in Vietnam have had their have had eels in their rectums. Um, damn, man, uh, I don't know what to say. Um, I would have thought that that gay sex would be relatively easy to come by. Maybe this is maybe this is me not understanding the gay community. Maybe somebody in the comments, if you happen to be of the gay persuasion, can help us uh, uh, us clueless heteros make sense of what seems to be a rather remarkable set of circumstances. If you scour the internet, 
You can find any manner of crazy things that people will do to themselves. Uh, I guess in pursuit of, of the elusive O. Like I said, I, I've never... I've never had trouble get, you know, reaching this state, and it's like, yeah, one can be better than the other, but I've never had one that was so good, barring the use of amphetamines, uh, that would be war. I just, I just can't get there. I, just, <laughs> I cannot imagine what must be going on inside of the mind of somebody. You know, like just like just just think about it for a second. Like here, you like what, what, like would you have like a bucket with this eel in it? You know what I mean? Like think of think of the number of times in your life if you're if you're a guy that you know you have you have done certain behaviors to get yourself to to fruition and immediately following, you know, you get hit with that like, oh man. <laughs> like what did I do? You know, you watch the wrong thing or you know whatever. We we've all had that experience of guilt, that post o guilt where you where you come back to your senses and you're like, "Oh my god, what have I done?" you know? An eel <laughs> I can't I can't get there man but hey like one of the other articles I read said something like you know basically you know we're not we're not trying to judge to each his own you know whatever you got to do I guess uh, I wonder could you get charged for this though you know I mean this eel could have died uh, why is this not like like why is this guy also not brought up on abuse of animal charges I can't remember if, I know that in America I think it's legal to view uh, certain, you know, uh, films that include, I, but I'm pretty sure in America it's still considered abuse of animals. I don't know. Maybe it's not in every state. There's a lot of jokes about cowboys and their, and their goats. Uh, I don't know if there's any actual truth to that. Until now, I've never bothered to look it up, but maybe I'll have to, maybe I'll have to look it up now and find out <laughs> just what's going on, uh, in the world around us. And this is one of the things I'm always telling my wife. She's like one of these deluded people who thinks that everyone around us is like, you know, totally normal. Like we're the crazy ones on the block. We're clearly the, the lunatics. And I'm like, baby, dude, you have no idea the vile filth that's going on. Like statistically on my street alone, there's probably, how many houses do you think are in our neighborhood? Uh, like 40. 40 houses. Statistically speaking, probably there's one pedophile, there's probably a beastie, you know? Like, just in my neighborhood alone, there's probably at least two houses that are getting down to just some unimaginably foul shit. So, anyway, there you have it. I uh, decided to mix it up a little bit. I saw that article. I could not resist turning it into a little bit of content. Uh, I have not done a Trend Sanity video in a long time. I know that a lot of people in my audience are using Trend and that it has the power to motivate you in, in strange ways. Uh, maybe I'll link uh, one, of my, one of my favorite uh, videos at the end of this uh, that gives you a highlight of the way my brain runs on Trend. Um, it's a Trend, Trend Confessions video. I'll link it at the end of this. If you haven't seen it, you've probably already seen it. Uh, but there you have it. I just thought I would bring you this piece of news in case you don't regularly read the Hindestu Times. Uh, there's some really interesting articles that can be found there, so maybe you should add it to your reading list. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.